Spring 1852, Paris. The third in a dynasty of physicists is born. While his father and grandfather achieved their renown studying light, electricity, and their interactions, Henri made his name elsewhere. As a young scientist, he stumbled upon a glow that shouldn't be there. Energy seemingly leaking out of ordinary minerals. Yes, Henri Becquerel discovered radioactivity. Following in the footsteps of his father Alexander Edmond, Henri began his career studying phosphorescence, the phenomenon that makes things glow in the dark. Now, while he was working on this subject, Wilhelm Röntgen discovered X-rays at the end of 1895. So, ever the curious mind, Becquerel wondered if phosphorescence was related to this newly discovered phenomenon. To test this idea, he took a photographic plate and wrapped it in black paper, the kind X-rays were known to penetrate. Then he took a few of his phosphorescent samples, one of which was a uranium salt, and placed it on the outside of the black paper. He then took it outside to charge the phosphorescent materials with the sun, and lo and behold, the photographic plates were exposed with the outline of the uranium salt sample appearing on the plate. Immediately he knew something was up, so on February 24th, 1896, he reported his result. Now, he would have liked to continue his experiments on the 26th and 27th of February, but Paris, being Paris, was overcast. So he left his wrapped plates and uranium samples in a dark cabinet, and for reasons unknown he developed those plates on March 1st, and he saw the same effect, this time without charging the phosphorescence of the uranium. This was shocking. So over the next few months he carried out more experiments, eventually concluding that, in fact, the source of the rays was the uranium atoms themselves rather than some external energy source charging phosphorescence. He also eventually discovered, using magnets, that certain kinds of radiation were charged, one negatively, one positively, and one not at all. For this work, Becquerel was awarded the Nobel Prize jointly with the Curies in 1903 for the discovery of spontaneous radioactivity. Of course, the Curies deserve a video in their own right, but perhaps that's for another time.